Today we're going to talk about my ideas regarding the mission creator. We're also going to go over your feedback from my Make Contact Missions Great Again video. By the way, thanks to everyone that left comments and watched it. And I dropped old thumbs up for it. Appreciate it. So yeah, I'm excited about the idea of a mission creator because as I pointed out in my previous video, that's how we used to make money in GTA Online prior to the heist update. And more than that, I actually enjoyed playing the contact missions from 2013 up to 2015. And afterwards, periodically, every now and then, especially whenever they'd rotate back in for like double, sometimes triple money. But clearly, the payouts for contact missions need a buff. And not all of them are good. Some of them suck, but there were a lot of pretty solid contact missions. So what we're going to do is we're going to read over some of your comments. And then I want to dive into the creator real quick. And I guess give you an idea of what I think the mission creator might be like. But it probably won't turn out to be that way. <laughs> so we'll just have to wait and see. So let's go over the comments real quick. First, let's go to Bob. He says they recently buffed all contact missions that are required for the career progress. And they said even doing those missions solo, managed to get the most $50,000 for a mission. Not as much, but still more than before. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's not a lot of money, but I wouldn't expect like a, like a heist amount when it comes to payouts for completing a contact mission. But the, the money payouts definitely need to be buffed. And it's good that... They have done that for some things, like, for example, Martin's uh, dispatch missions. They got buffed. And this past event week, you know, we've gotten even more money doing the Martin dispatch missions. I just want to see that done across the board to all contact missions, including a hypothetical mission creator, which would include missions made by the community. Uh, Snake says, I would love to see the most outlandish creations happen. And that's going to be the cool thing about a hypothetical mission creator. I have ideas for, I guess, continuations or loose ends to characters or story threads in GTA 5 I would like to create and see where they go. But it would also be interesting to see what everyone else comes up with and some really, really ri ridiculous outlandish ideas for missions. So another reason to be excited about a hypothetical mission creator. Uh, Kevin says, GB, it would be nice if Rockstar could revert the change they did to the contact missions many years ago. Uh, change was basically requiring you to wait full 15 minutes in order to get the full pay. And this is something I was uh, touching on in uh, the previous video, is the fact that Rockstar at one point did make it to where we had to actually take our sweet time before we got full payment for the contact missions. And I agree with you, Kevin. I think that that should be reverted back to normal. If, if you want to rush through the contact mission, fine. If you just want to take your time or you have to take your time because it's more challenging for you than other players, then so be it. At the end of the day, you should still get paid the same amount, the full 100% of the mission's value. That form of the contact mission, they would make similar to VIP work, client jobs, other activities. No matter how fast you do, you'll still get the full payout. If it worked that way for contact missions, again, alongside with the replay button, uh, things that you suggested in the video, I believe that the contact missions will be restored to their prime as they were in 2013. And I, I agree entirely with that, Kevin. Yeah, and I think that's something I should have touched up a bit more in uh, that video. I did mention it, like I, like I said. But, yeah, the, the whole, like, making us wait a certain amount of time in order to get the, the full payout is just ridiculous. Case in point, let's just say I hired you for a job, right? And I was paying you to do a job. Do you think I want you to take your sweet ass time getting the job done? No. <laughs> I want you to get that job done as soon as you can get it done. I don't want you to bum rush through it and half ass it. But I'm not going to sit there and reward you for going slow and <laughs> taking as long as you want. I would rather just pay you to get it done as soon as you can get it done. Finally, let's go to Nino. I can already see Rockstar effing up the mission creator in some way, like having uh, pay limits, reduced payouts compared to regular missions. 
It's technically possible given that there are mods for custom missions, but we have to see. Yeah, I'm curious about how they're going to do that. I guess it's going to be like checkpoint based and how many checkpoints you have to have in the, in the mission, like more checkpoints, more things the player has to do in the mission, I guess the, the bigger pay. But I do agree that there'll most likely be a, a cap in the max amount of money players can hypothetically earn uh, doing mission creator type missions. For existing missions, I feel like you missed a point or two why they were disliked, like the weird difficulty of some of them, dry docking base invaders, and the infinitely spawning enemies. Well, like I, I did mention this, like not all of them were liked. There definitely were some contact missions that people hated because they, they weren't made very well or they had infinite spawning issues, but a lot of them were done rather well. They, they weren't all great. Some of them were better than others, but yeah, there definitely were issues with the two missions you cited, dry docking as well as base invaders, a few others as well. See, then there's the arbitrary player number restrictions, like why do I do last chopper out LS, Damon run, method in the madness, F and lasers. Yeah, that's one thing I will agree with you on, Nino, because there are definitely times I would like to do some contact missions solo, but then some of them require you to have at least two players. Others will limit you to only two players. And F and lasers, I agree. I think that F and lasers could be done solo. I mean, just one player, hop in a laser, and uh, take out all the planes. It's not that difficult, especially if you're decent in a laser. But, you know, that particular mission you cited does require you to have two players. No more, no less. But thanks again, everyone, for your uh, comments from the previous video, which I have linked below in the description section for anybody that missed out on that one. So let's go ahead and go into the creator itself. And I guess I'll, I'll use it as a template as to what my vision for the creator will most likely be if big fat juicy if we actually are getting a mission creator in gta online now what's obvious is when we do get a mission creator rockstar will put it here in the mission creator along with deathmatch race capture last team standing king of the hill survivor etc so i'm gonna go with capture because capture kind of has a, a mission style to it it's not really uh, used as much by the creator community so the entire map of ls would become available similar to all the other creators and you'll be able to like like do the capture details the title the description you would be able to take a photo of what uh, i guess where the mission's taking place like the uh i guess down there at the maze bank arena and the the bridge in the background and uh, yeah, so it'd be very, very similar to that when it comes to the mission creator. I would like for us to have uh, mission givers where like there'd be like a separate option here where you'd have a certain number of uh, NPCs that already give you contact missions at your disposal to use as the quote unquote mission giver like uh, Lamar, Gerald, Lester, Martin, Ron, Trevor, Simeon, Paige, Franklin, Agent 14, ULP, Charlie, Dax, Amani, Jamal, Pavel, Agatha, Vince, Malk, Tony, Laszlo, Susanta, Moody Man. You probably even have a couple other ones like unknown or question marks, etc. That way you would have somebody as your mission giver, just like in the other contact missions. And along with the ability to do a title, description, and a photo, I would like a text section where you could like send a basic text to the players at the at the beginning. We're like, hey, I need you to go here. Or just giving you a quick rundown. Like, hey, so-and-so's got to go. We got to take them out. It's up to you, homie. You know, that would be kind of cool. That way it would look like it actually came from Lamar or came from Ron or one of the other characters you choose to use as your mission giver. So, yeah, we got the tile description, the text message. And, uh, well, with uh, checkpoints, you know, checkpoints would be over here. Very similar to how it is in, in the capture version of the mission creator where you would put down like checkpoints. Say for example, we do a mission where you're going to uh, take back Grove Street for the family. Say Lamar texts you and says the alliance with the ballers uh, didn't last long, it fell south, and uh, it's time to take back Grove Street for the families. 
So you just, I guess, place the trigger there. That's where you would go. You would also go into the, um, I guess, kept the uh, actors, which would be your enemies. So male special, where would it be? Gang members. Okay. So we go to Ballas, right? And then you would start putting down Ballas as, as the enemy. And you probably put down vehicles as well, but you would have like a, like in this, you only can have like up to 20 uh, actors or enemy NPCs. So let's just say we only have like 20 to choose from. But it does kind of RNG, like the, the different uh, characters. So I, we can also put Baller South down here too, just to add a little bit of variety. So I, I guess the mission would be to finally drive the Ballas out of Grove Street. And then you could also put down like, like they're different. For each one, you decide what kind of weapon you want them to have, uh, their accuracy, as well as combat style. Uh, maybe give them each like, like one respawn or you can do as many respawns as you want and then vehicles you could throw in some vehicles as well so let's find some appropriate vehicles that would work for the ballos you obviously you want okay so we'll just do that so purple like so you got like purple emperors because you know the colors of the ballos is purple in some contact missions they'll drive up in green vehicles and i always felt like that was a mistake made by the the devs I, I wish they would have gone back and fixed it but they never bothered so i mean i'm just kind of like walking through my vision so you'd, you'd have like their cars like set up here and you'd be able to see their cars and you kind of have it to where it feels like they're actually here and they've pulled up and they know they're about to be attacked so they're in place and, and maybe you're coming all the way from where the families are and maybe even you'll have some family allies uh, join you. So you have families over here and then you'll roll down the road with the families and you get an epic shootout with the ballers. But then say they escape, right? Let's just say they escape down to the LS river and then we can put some, I mean, you'll have like another checkpoint and let's find uh, the boats. Okay. So let's just put some boats. Obviously not big boats because that wouldn't work. Okay, so we'd have some sea sharks, right? You know, they'd have some sea sharks they'd, they'd flee on. But then there'd be, uh, I guess, some player sea sharks that would also, like, be over here that you'd be able to grab. doesn't matter what color. I just, I'm just doing green because, you know, family's ballers. So you'd be able to, like, I know this, is, this sounds similar to a mission in GTA V, but I'm just going by it. An idea so you'd, you'd fight the ballers up there uh, some of them would flee by sea and you would have to you have to chase them down by sea and, and finish them off and once you do that then then you'd complete the mission now obviously there'd be checkpoints vehicles weapons uh, you know props that you could put up a, a MacGuffin if you want the mission to be a, a MacGuffin anyways that's pretty much uh, I guess a little demonstration of what I think the mission creator could be like. Very similar to uh, the caption creator or LTS creator. The, the same premise applies. And I think they'll most likely be based on uh, checkpoints. Like the more checkpoints you have, the more things you have the uh, players do in your mission, the uh, higher payout. But I do agree that there will be a, a mission cap payment wise. You won't be able to make like a ridiculous amount of money doing uh these uh mission creators but i don't care about that what, what really interests me is the fun factor and the uh like snake said the outlandish stuff that uh, creators come up with for missions and some interesting things that may feel like i guess unofficial uh dlc from gta 5 you know in like envisioning like missions that would happen post gta 5 with franklin trevor michael you could do that. I don't know. I mean, I would like to believe you could do that. It would be awesome if you could use ally NPCs along with enemy NPCs. And ally NPCs, enemy NPCs would include GTA 5 characters, such as Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, where you could either be fighting side by side with them in, in battles, or you could be like creating your own vision of how you think Trevor should go down after GTA 5, or, or Michael, or Franklin. And that, that would be interesting as well. 
when it comes to the mission creator. So I hope that we have a lot of options, not just in you know the basic stuff with uh, checkpoints and uh, description section with the mission givers, but also with the ability to perhaps even use uh, the entire state of uh, Southern San Andreas for a mission. Like, for example, you start a mission down here in Los Santos, and maybe it uh, wraps up in Polito Bay. Or perhaps you start a mission at uh, Fort Zancudo, right? It's a military-style Top Gun-esque mission, and you're able to jump into fighter jets and go battle over the aircraft carrier in order to take control of the aircraft carrier. If you could use that as a quote-unquote prop in the mission crater, that would be amazing because... It's not just like uh, hypothetical GTA story DLCs from like five and maybe even, you know, San Andreas or whatever you want to make for a mission creator. Or you want to like redo a popular mission from previous Grand Theft Autos like three, Vice City, San Andreas, uh, four, etc. Maybe you want to make missions based off uh, like TV shows or uh, movies. That would be amazing if we could uh, use it as inspiration in the mission crater. But I do think that there will probably be some limitations with it, just like with the other uh, mission craters. But uh, they have been adding more props to them. And uh, yeah, there are memory limitations, so you're not going to be able to go crazy like like an army of like uh, thousands of NPCs going up against you. But I still think it has potential to be uh, very fun, very interesting. And perhaps even uh, crazy, depending on the type of missions that are made by the community. But I I hope that the mission creator turns out to be true. And if we go by the code that Taz discovered, I I think it is happening. The question is, when can we expect the mission creator in GTA Online? I would say at the earliest, uh, probably by December. I don't think we're getting it anytime soon. But uh, yeah, with the mission creator... I look forward to trying to make some missions myself. I have a few ideas, and uh, I look forward to trying out missions from the community, especially missions that I feel like belong in the world and the lore of Grand Theft Auto, whether it's the uh, HD universe or even going back to the 3D universe. But yeah, that's my opinion about what I think the uh, mission creator should be, as well as some of your opinions that we read over earlier. And uh, what would you like to see in the hypothetical mission crater? Or what do you not want to see? What would you like to have included? And if we do get a mission crater, do you intend on making some missions yourself in GTA Online? Your thoughts, views, and opinions, welcome, as always, below in the comments section.